Ladies and gentlemen, good day. I am going to show you how to use Turbo Text. So let us jump straight in. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is create an account. So once you're in turbotax.intuit.com, you're going to go ahead and you'll land up on this page. You're going to go ahead and tap on get started. Now, if you already have an account, if you started creating an account, you're going to go ahead and tap yes. If not, we're going to tap on no and we're going to start the process from the beginning. So you'll have to answer simple questions about your tax situation. You'll also have to create Create your secure TurboTax account and then you'll select how much help you want from tax experts. So let us tap on continue and get going. The first thing you want to do is tap in your zip code and you want to tap on continue. Here you want to indicate whether you have a job, you're a freelancer, you're self-employed or you have unemployment income. So I'm going to go ahead and say freelancer. And then you can also indicate if you have um, investments such as a rental property that you're collecting rent from or um, stock in crypto. You're going to go ahead and tap on continue. Now, any of these that may apply, you are going to go ahead and click on it. So it says um, housing, either you own a home or you pay rent. You have a family. Uh, which means you have dependents or children. And then also, if you do donate to charity, there is a checkbox right over here at the bottom. Once you're done, you're going to go ahead and tap on continue. Now, you will be asked, how confident are you doing your taxes? Now, it'll now say we'll use this later on to recommend expert help options for you. So, I don't feel comfortable or confident. Somewhat confident, I'm 100% confident. So depending on where exactly you are, you want to go ahead and you want to select whichever way you are. Now, I do not feel confident, so I'm going to tap on that and say continue. Here it says, let's save your progress. Our experts specialize in finding industry-specific deductions for self-employment. So you can see over here, these are all of your specifics. At the bottom of the page, there is a create account button you are going to tap on that so right from here you are going to enter in your email address your user id password and your phone number now if you have an existing account with uh, credit karma or quickbooks you can actually use that account because they're all part of intuit so i'm going to put my email address in here and if you have an account existing you'll see that it'll tell you we found an account with this email you're just going to go ahead and say sign in it'll take you now to the next dialog box where you can actually enter in your password and sign into your account you will now select where you would like to go so you're either doing personal taxes or business taxes now i'm going to go ahead and say personal taxes because i am actually filing now for personal taxes the next thing you want to go ahead and do, and um, over here it does say that it's based on your answers and they give you an option for you. So what we're going to do is we are going to tap on start for free. If you go down, you will actually see that there are some other packages. Um, so here, if you want to do it yourself or if you want to have a little bit of assistance uh, compared to the full service, you can go ahead and just select the plan that is actually going to be uh, more appropriate for you so once you've selected your plan you're going to go ahead and tap on the start for free and over here you will go through the questionnaire that they have so how did you do your taxes last year and uh, you can now just go ahead and actually select the appropriate answer you're going to tap on continue Again, we're going to go ahead and enter our details here. We want a first name, a last name, a date of birth, and that's in month um, right over there. And then if you don't live in the U.S., you want to not put that zip code in there. You want to just go ahead and tap on I live outside of the U.S. And um, what you are done, you can scroll down a little bit and you can tap on continue. You want to go ahead and choose your marital status. It does give you a date. So make sure that it is correct. And then you want to, um, the next section, it says filing a return with your better half almost always saves money on your taxes. And um, then you want to make sure that you have um, selected all that apply. So if you've owned a home, 
paid rent, you're retired, um, you have a college student in family. Uh, we're going to leave it just like this. We've got dependents and we've, uh, we pay rent and that's great. We're going to go ahead and tap on continue here and it says, do you have any of these things in 2023? So, um, in 2023, you want to just make sure, um, of course, when you're watching this video, the, um, the details may be different, but you're going to go ahead and you're going to now um, select the boxes that are appropriate for you. So right now I'm going to stick with self-employed. I have been um, self-employed for quite some time. So we're going to go ahead and leave it just like that. Once you're sort of done here, um, we can go in to the bottom and we can tap on continue. Now it says filing your taxes is easier this year. You can see over here, um, these are some of the uh, companies that will be uh, assisting you in um, your tax and you can go ahead tap on continue and over here we will now get into um, you and your family you can see over here all of the details you can see um, there's a bunch of income details and then your tax break so once we are done here make sure that you've read through that section properly we're going to continue and then we now just need to review and we need to sign so we're going to go over here and we're going to tap on review and sign over here it says before you sign here's what you need to know you must make sure that you've read through here uh, this is very very important you're going to go ahead and you're going to sign here with your full name right once you are done uh, you can select um, I'm filing jointly with my spouse if you are and then you can also select signed on and it'll give you a date and you can go ahead and tap on agree now once you are done you'll see that there is the step two of the uh, closing process this again will have to be reviewed and signed again it says before you sign um, here's what you need to know you will have to read through that again there are some more links if you want to know a little bit more again you want your full name in over here and you want to go ahead if you are filing jointly with your spouse you want to select that if not you want to just select the signed on and the date you want to tap on agree you can see now that these two sections are complete the um you're on track to file faster we're on our way now we're going to tap on continue so you will now end up on this page over here. So basically what you're going to do from here is you are going to enter in all of your personal information. Now, this will take almost two hours to enter. So this is not something that obviously you would want to go through um, and watch somebody do. But if you're going ahead and you look into each one of these categories you can just have a look uh, your wages and income all your wage and income information needs to go in here your deductions and credits um, if you have any other tax situations you're going to go and enter them in over here in the section you have state taxes and then of course you're going to review all of your information you are going to finish up and you're going to submit whatever files need to be submitted down here in your account section you can change your username id email or password and then you can create a w2 and a 1099 form um, which will be required for certain types of um, tax returns you can see over here your tax returns and documents uh, and this is where you can add any files you can see the files that you've added on the left hand side you can see it says documents and this is all the documents that you have uploaded you can actually view all your documents in this area over here up on the top of the page there are your notifications you can manage all of your communications um, right from here and then of course you have a search bar if you're looking for something on uh, TurboTax you can check it out here and of course if you are in need you can go ahead, tap on the help tab. You can get assistance from the support team and then you get live tax advice as well, which is awesome. So going through this process, just make sure that you are accurately filling out all of this information. Make sure that um, everything that you put in is true and as accurate as possible. And uh, it will be a process, but at the end, you'll have all of your documents in and you can now run your taxes efficiently. If this video was helpful, drop us a like. If you have any questions, please drop it in the section below. We'd love to hear from you. Let's start a conversation. We'll see you in another video.